गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ दी रूप ड्राइव बेल्ट ड्राइव चेन ड्राइव एंड व्हाई वी कैन यू दिस गियर ड्राइव एज पावर ट्रांसमिशन बिकम्स लार्जर वन एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैट लोकेशन ऑफ दैट पावर ट्रांसमिशन आर शॉर्ट इन दैट केस वी कैन यूज गियर ड्राइव इन लास्ट वीडियो वी गो थ्रू दैट डिफरेंट गियर टाइप्स that are the spur gear helical gear steering wheel gear arrangement bevel gears rack and pinion gear arrangement we go through this in different types of the arrangements that are used for the power transmission so uh, in this video in this next video we discuss about the gear terminology we discuss about that gear terminology so in this gear terminology there are different terms there are different terms denoted in this figure so we go through in this different terms that are related to the gear terminology so first term is the pitch circle diameter is the pitch circle diameter so this pitch circle diameter is used for the all gear calculations and that particular diameter is called the pitch circle diameter that diameter is called the pitch circle diameter that are used for the all gear calculations that are called uh, used in the all gear calculation that and it is represented here it is represented here this pitch circle diameter which by pure rolling action which we obtain by pure rolling action and that produce that same motion as the two three gear wheel so that diameter of the particular circle which by pure rolling action would produce that same motion as a two three gear wheel so in spur gear this this pitch circle diameter is replaced by a disc this pitch circle diameter is replaced by a disc and if suppose by pure rolling motion of the disc it represent that same motion of the two three gear wheel by pure rolling action of the particular disc it represent the same motion of the two three gear wheel So that particular diameter related to the disc is nothing but a pitch circle diameter. Is nothing but a pitch circle diameter. And that we use for the all gear calculations. All gear calculations we use for this pitch circle diameter. So this pitch circle is represented here, and the diameter related to this pitch circle is nothing but a pitch circle diameter. So in spur gear, it is a represented as a disc. It is represented the diameter of that particular disc, diameter of that particular disc, which we can uh, replace it, which uh, which we can replace it that particular gear. So that gear is replaced by a particular disc, and that the diameter of that particular disc is nothing but the pitch circle diameter in terms of uh, for the spur gear in case of the spur gear. This is pitch circle diameter that I will be using for the all gear calculations. So the surface of that particular disc, surface of that particular disc with which that two three gear is replaced is nothing but a pitch circle. Surface of that particular disc with which that two three gear is replaced is nothing but a pitch circle. And the point of tangency or point of contact of the two pitch circles. Of the meeting gear is called as the pitch point. So this is the first gear. This is the first gear. So to this gear, another gear is a uh, engage. To this gear, another gear is engage. So point of contact, point of contact of the two pitch circles when two gears are engaged. The point of contact of the two pitch circles is nothing but a point of pitch point. Is nothing but a pitch point. Point of contact of the two pitch circles when two gears are in engaged condition, that point of contact is nothing but a pitch point, or we can say that it is a point of tangency, or we can say that it is a point of tangency. The point of contact of the two pitch circles when two gears are engaged, it is nothing but a pitch point. It is nothing but a pitch point. So uh, next another term we can discuss is. Uh, these pitch terms these pitch terms uh, 
we can express it in many ways the speech term we can express it in many ways and these are expressed as a circular pitch diameter pitch and modular pitch that pitch term we can again express it in different terms as a circular pitch diameter pitch modular pitch like that so this is diameter pitch circular pitch modular pitch we can express it in this way so that circular pitch it is a expressed generally expressed as a p suffix to the c here suffix c is remaining so circular pitch is nothing but a p suffix to this p is a c so circular pitch it is a circular pitch so that circular pitch is the distance measured along the circumference of the pitch circle from a point on one tooth to the corresponding point on the adjacent tooth so circular pitch that distance measured on this circumference of this pitch circle distance measured on this circumference of the pitch circle from a point on one tooth from point on one tooth to corresponding point on the another tooth from point on the one tooth to the corresponding point on the another tooth adjacent to that particular tooth corresponding point on the another tooth which is adjacent to this particular tooth which is nothing but a circular pitch which is nothing but a circular pitch this pc so this pc circular pitch denoted as a p suffix to the c is nothing but a pi d by t is nothing but a pi d by t so d is nothing but a uh, pitch circle diameter d is nothing but a pitch circle diameter and t is nothing but a number of teeth t is nothing but a number of teeth and so we can represent that circular pitch as a pi d by t circular pitch is denoted as a pi d by t so in this formula of circular pitch pc is equal to pi d by t here we observe one term as a pi here we observe one term as a pi so it is a uh, this term is a irrational number this term of pi is a irrational number so that due to this due to this uh, one term is introduced here as a irrational number as a pi so another so we can represent this pc is equal to pi d by t in this term one irrational number is <coughs> introduced in this formula as a pi so another term we can express in this circle uh, we can express in this pitch term as a diameter pitch we can express as a diameter pitch so this diameter pitch is represented generally p suffix as a d p suffix to the d represented by p suffix d is remaining here p d and it is expressed as a number of teeth per unit length of the pitch circle diameter it is expressed as a number of teeth per unit length of the pitch circle diameter number of teeth per unit length of the pitch circle diameter so pd p suffix d which is equal to the number of teeth per unit of the diameter d per unit of the pitch circle diameter d so here that pd is equal to number of teeth per unit of the pitch circle diameter so it is a t by d it is t by d sometimes it is denoted here as a n by d here denoted as a n by d so that n is represented as the number of teeth and d is represented as the pitch circle diameter but d, t, d is represented as the pitch circle diameter now another um, another pitch term as a module another pitch term as a module so this module is the length of the pitch circle diameter per tooth it is the length of the pitch circle diameter per tooth so module is the length of the uh, pitch circle diameter per tooth so which is a reciprocal of the diameter pitch which is a reciprocal of the diameter pitch so diameter pitch it is a number of tooth number of tooth per unit length of the circular pitch diameter the model is the length of the pitch circle diameter per tooth 
it is a reciprocal one it is a reciprocal on the particular diameter pitch so uh, by using these uh, terms by using this term we can represent it as a represent a, that circular pitch we can represent that circular pitch pc circular pitch pc is equal to pi d by t circular pitch circular pitch is nothing but a pi d by t so d by t we can write as a m modular t d by t we can represent as m which is a modular t and that circular pitch now we can represent it like this pi m the circular pitch we can represent as a pi m so pi d by t here that number of teeth t is re re represented as n number of teeth is represented as n so d by t is nothing but a module or d by n is nothing but a module so circular pitch now becomes a pi m circular pitch now becomes a pi m so this pitch term we can express it as a circular pitch diameter pitch and the modular pitch so these are the nothing but the distances these are the nothing but the distances or these are related these distances circular uh, pitch circle diameter pitch circle diameter distances are related to the teeth of that particular gear so uh, pitch circle and the length of that pitch circle diameter is related to the teeth of that particular gears teeth of the particular gears so these these three terms are related to the pitch term these three terms are related to the pitch term in the gears pitch term in the gears so circular pitch diameter pitch and the modular pitch and the modular pitch now we can replace uh, now we can move towards the addendum addendum of this gear addendum of this gear we can replace to towards the addendum of this gear this addendum is nothing but a radial height of the tooth above pitch circle it is a, this this addendum this is the addendum it is the radial height of the tooth radial height of this tooth above the pitch circle is a, that represents the addendum this is the radial height of the tooth above the pitch circle is nothing but the addendum so and that circle related to this addendum circle related to this addendum is nothing but the addendum circle or we can say that a circle bonding the top of the teeth circle bonding the top of the teeth is known as the addendum circle circle bonding at the top of the teeth is nothing but the addendum circle and the diameter related to this addendum diameter related to the addendum is nothing but the that addendum diameter or we can represent it as the addendum so similarly similarly we can represent here dedendum similarly we can represent it as a dedendum it is the radial depth of the tooth it is the radial depth of the tooth below pitch circle it is the radial depth of the tooth below pitch circle below pitch circle so it is the radial depth of the tooth below the circle which is represented uh, which is denoted as a dedendum which is denoted as a dedendum and that circle passing through the roots of the owl teeth that circle passes the roots of the owl teeth is nothing but the dedendum circle circle passes to the roots of the owl teeth is nothing but the dedendum circle is nothing but the dedendum circle and that for addendum that circle bonding or passing <coughs> at the top of the teeth circle passing the at the top of the teeth is nothing but the addendum circle and circle passing to, to through the roots of the all teeth which is nothing but the dedendum circle and that clearance clearance is nothing but a distance or radial height difference it is the radial height difference between the addendum and dedendum of the teeth it is the radial height difference between the addendum and dedendum of the particular teeth is known as the clearance it is the clearance so it is the difference between the addendum and the dedendum addendum and dedendum is nothing but the clearance it is nothing but the clearance so this again this portion this portion is represented as a or it is called as a face this portion is called as a face and this portion is called as a flank this portion is called as a flank this portion is called as a face so face of the two the face of the tooth it is the part of the tooth surface it is the part of the tooth surface above the pitch surface part of the tooth surface which is the above the pitch surface above this p 
each surface above this peak surface what will the surface of the tooth is nothing but called as a face and that part of the tooth surface below the peak surface part of this tooth surface below this peak surface is called as a flank of this uh, tooth it is nothing but a flank of the tooth it is the surface below the peak surface it is nothing but a flank of the tooth it is nothing but a flank of the tooth and the profile the profile of this tooth profile of this tooth is nothing but forming this profile is nothing but the this is determined by the face and flank this is determined by the face and flank profile this profile of the tooth is determined by the face and the flank so tooth thickness one more term is here as a tooth thickness tooth thickness this tooth thickness this tooth thickness which is measured along the face circle diameter which is measured along the face circle diameter and this is this is a nothing but thickness of the tooth it is measured along the face circle diameter and this is nothing but the thickness of the tooth which is called the tooth thickness thickness of the tooth which is called the tooth thickness and another is the space width another is the, this this particular term of this particular space this particular space is denoted as a space width this particular uh, space or this particular distance is denoted as a space width this particular distance is going to be a space width and difference between this space width difference between this distance space width and the circular pitch difference between this space width and the circular pitch which is nothing but a backslash which is nothing but a backslash one more term is the backslash we can again discuss it in details in the next video that backslash so this 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 particular distance from this point to this point is nothing but a space width and this this particular distance is represented as a tooth thickness this particular distance is represented as a tooth thickness and difference between this tooth thickness and the space width difference between tooth thickness and the space width is nothing but a backslash is nothing but a backslash now another term is a top land another term is a top land so this this particular space this particular space above the tooth surface is a top line the surface of the tooth top of this tooth or above this tooth is nothing but a top line so nothing but a top line so face width so this face width we can measure axially face width represented here we can measure axially along the peak surface we can measure axially along the peak surface so this space will be measured along the piece surface here this space will be you can measure along this piece surface here along the piece surface so this is the face width face width the width of that particular gear to measure the axially measure the axially along the piece surface along the piece surface so these are the some terms uh, related to the gear terminology so some terms are, are remaining as a that particular प्रेसर एंगल दैट ऑफ प्रेसर एंगल पाथ ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट पाथ ऑफ अप्रोचेस आर्क ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट दिस टर्म डिस्कस करना